Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another new tutorial of PowerPoint School. I hope you are doing well and in this video I will show you how to make this kinetic typography animation in just PowerPoint. I have already shared this template in one of our previous video but as many of you have asked for the tutorial so I am making it for you. Before I show you our today's work let me tell you that PowerPoint School is now taking a premium course on Udemy. This is our community so you may join there to learn and get more awesome stuffs about PowerPoint. I have provided the course link in the description of this video and also in the first comment. You should check it now. So without wasting any further time let's start our today's tutorial. At first I will create this animation so here I have already taken a blank slide. Pick a text box, drag it over here. Change the font to TWC and empty. Make it bold, italic. Increase the font size to 96 point. Change the font color to white. Now you can add your text. Here I am just adding some demo text. After adding the text, place this text box here in the middle. Pick a line shape, holding the shift key from your keyboard, drag it from this side to here. Then go to format, from shape outline, pick this color. Click on this small arrow, which is the format shape option. Under the line, you need to increase the width to 8.5 point. Then we can close it. After that, bring this line shape to down a bit. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. Bring it to here. Now I'll resize it from this side. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. From rotate, select rotate left 90 degree. Now I'll resize it. Place it here. And holding this corner, I'll make it a bit angle. Then holding the control button, scroll your mouse to zoom in. Now I'll make the edges perfect. After that, select this text box. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. Bring it to here. Go to home. Decrease the font size to 26 point. Change the font color. Decrease the size of this text box from this side. Bring it to here. You can simply change the text. I'm just adding some demo text. So we are almost done with creating all the necessary elements but before adding the animation we need to pick our rectangle. Place it over here. Then go to format. From shape fill, change its color to black so that it matches with the background color. From shape outline, make it no outline. Now right click on it and send it to back. This rectangle will help to hide the entrance of the small text box. Now you can go for the animation part. Click on animation pane to look over animation status. To add our very first animation, I'll select this line shape. From add animation, I'll select wipe. From effect option, select from right. Set start on click duration 0.25 second. For the second line shape, from add animation, Select wipe from effect option, select from top, set start after previous duration 0.25 second. For the last one, from add animation, again select wipe from effect option, select from left, set start after previous and duration 0.25 second. Then select this text box, from add animation, select fly in, from effect option, Select from right, set start after previous, duration 0 0.50 second, click on this drop down arrow, from effect option, increase the smooth end and press OK. For the second text box, before we have to right click on it and send it to back. Now to add the animation, from add animation, select fly in, from effect option, select from left, Set start with previous, keep the duration 0 0.50 second, click on this drop down arrow from effect option, increase the smooth end and press OK. Now we have added all the appear animation, you can see our animation has been added perfectly. Now we have to add the exit animation, so select this text box first, from add animation, scroll down, under the exit option, select fly out, from effect option, select to left, set start on click, duration 0 0.50 second, click on this drop down arrow from effect option, increase the smooth start 
and press OK. Then select this line shape from Add Animation under the Exit option add this wipe animation from effect option select from right set a start after previous duration 0.25 second select the second line shape from add animation under exit option select wipe from effect option make sure it is selected from bottom set a start after previous and duration 0.25 second for the last line shape from add animation do the same under exit option select wipe from effect option select from left set a start after previous and duration 0.25 second we are almost done with our animation now we have to select this bigger text box from add animation under the exit option select fly out from effect option select to right set start with previous duration 0 0.50 second click on this drop down arrow from effect option increase the smooth start and press ok and our animation is ready now if you start the slideshow you can see all the appear and exit animations are working as expected so now i will show you another animation work and let's go forward to it here i have already taken two different text boxes which is very easy to take now before adding the animation i have to pick a rectangle drag it over here to cover this portion I'll resize it from this size a bit go to format from shape fill changes color to black so that it matches to the background color from shape outline select no outline then right click on it and send it to back select this bigger text box right click on it send it to back now what I'll do I'll select this rectangle press ctrl d to duplicate I'll resize it and place it here to cover this lower portion now I'll resize it from this size a bit actually to cover the entrance effect of these two text boxes we have added these two rectangles so that it looks good now we can go for animation part go to animation click on animation pane from where we can look over animation status to add the first animation select this text box from add animation select fly in from here keep this on click duration 0.75 second click on this drop down arrow go to effect option increase the smooth end and press ok now select the second text box from add animation select fly in animation from here set start with previous duration 0.75 second and delay 0.25 second click on this drop down arrow go to effect option and increase the smooth end and press ok now we need to add the exit animation so select this first text box from add animation under the exit option select fly out from here keep this on click and duration 0 0.50 second click on this drop down arrow go to effect option increase the smooth start and press ok select the second text box do the same from add animation under the exit option select fly out from here keep this with previous duration 0 0.50 second delay 0 0.25 second click on this drop down arrow go to effect option increase the smooth end and press ok and our animation is ready now if you start the slideshow you can see everything is working perfectly in the same way we can create this type of animations and also in our upcoming videos i will share more unique kinetic typography or text animations if you want you can download this exact template from our website which is powerpointschool.com i will provide the download link in the description of this video so if you have enjoyed this tutorial make sure you give a like for this video if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe share with your friend and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get time to time notification from this channel and also make sure you check our Udemy course, the link is in the description of this video. And you can visit our website which is powerpointschool.com. From here you can download all of our template files as well as you will get the necessary written documentation also. So that's all from this video. I'll see you in the next one and thanks for watching.